Right then guys, Gaft is back with an incredible prediction trick. I'm going to make a prediction in a minute of a certain location in the deck of your card. So we can give the cards a shuffle. Um, spectators got a free choice to pick any card. Let's say they go with this one. Now it doesn't matter if I can see this card, it's not that sort of trick. It is the Jack of Hearts. We're going to place the Jack on the top and we're going to give it some cuts. Just to lose your card somewhere in the pack. And just so I can't be accused of tampering with the cards, I'm going to put this packet or this deck into the box and we're going to close up the box. Now I'm going to make my prediction. So I'm going to write something on this and I'll come back in view when I've done it. I'm going to fold this up. You can see something written on there, but you can't actually read what it says. And I'm going to get the spectator to give the cards a shuffle. Just do the box up, we don't need that, don't we? Spectator's going to shuffle these cards. And like I say, I've made a prediction. I've written something in here, and I'll show you what I wrote. If you can read my scruffy writing. Between the jokers. You shuffle the cards. I want you to deal the cards face up onto the table. And when you see the first joker, just stop. So spectator's gonna deal through, remembering that they shuffled this packet. So we're gonna deal through till we find the first joker. Oh shit. Oh crap, it's not looking good, is it? And they have not found the Joker. But I did say it would be between the Jokers. I didn't say they'd be in this packet. Because in fact, the Jokers are in the box. Because we have three cards. We've got the two Jokers and nestled in between the two Jokers. Can't be your signed if you want it to be. Jack of Hearts, can it? So that is the trick guys, make sure to subscribe to the Gaff Academy, post notifications on, and we'll see you tomorrow for the reveal. Cheers.